Hey guys, welcome back to Exit 45. Uh, today, I'm gonna show you how to uh, replace the rear window, really in most newer cars. Uh, it's the glue down type window. Uh, this is gonna be on my 2016 uh, Honda Civic. But like I said, most cars today are done the same way. So uh, let me show you what we got uh, and we'll go from there. Right? Hello, what's up, buddy? Kiki, well, come here. Come on, buddy. Yeah. Okay, uh, well, the window's been changed out already, so I guess we don't have to do a video. Nah, just kidding. Uh, I lost a bunch of footage, so uh, my external hard drive uh, conked out on me and uh, I lost pretty much everything and uh, so the very beginning of this uh, I lost but uh, let me just explain you know where where it was uh, and I'm gonna show you some pictures you'll see uh, some pictures in in here that I'll put up and you'll see where I started at uh, all of this was shattered out um, I just had glass along all the way around just like that just just around the edge so and all I did there was I got in here with a uh, you know a narrow putty knife and I just used a hammer and I just got up underneath it and I just chiseled all the way around and came right out uh, and then you'll have a you know you'll have that bead of sealant that's still there you just need to take a razor knife and clean that but I think uh, I think that I may actually be in the video still um, but uh, so yeah, really what you're missing is where it started off at. So this was all shattered. Uh, this up here was all dented all the way up along here. It was creased, creased down in. I had a tree limb fall on it. And like I said, uh, the pictures will be put in here. You'll see them. And uh, so I had to go in and fix all of this right here and get this back up to where it was nice and straight like it is now. Because uh, it wasn't. It was down quite a ways and then coming back up but i was able to get that and so this is where we're you know that was where we started at and i just wanted to kind of show you that real quick so uh all right so that's that's where it started and then the video will pick up um what i didn't lose and you'll see the rest so now that we've got the all the excess glass from the you know the broken windshield or rear window uh, we need to do a final cleanup in here you can see there's just you know from all the years there's dirt whatnot and we want to make sure that we have a good seal uh, and then we're going to clean up the last little bit of the old sealant just bringing it down flush to the metal it'll leave a little bit in there but that's okay it's uh it'll bond to that really well okay i think the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a razor blade um now I've cleaned this razor blade because it's brand new and they'll have them oil on it from the manufacturer so it doesn't rust. Um, you can feel it when you grab them. There's just, you know, it's on. You can feel it. And I don't want any of that getting on on here. So, but all we're going to do here is we're just going to try and nice and easy make sure there's no high spots. I mean, I... When I trimmed this off, when I pulled the window out, I, it got pretty close. There's just some spots that I'll have to work on. But anyway, this is kind of a pain with one hand, but you get the picture. Just kind of work the razor blade nice and easy along here. Try not to scratch up your paint. Um, you know, in my case, it probably don't matter a whole lot, but... For those of you who have a car that's not in the condition mine is after the hurricane, uh, you know, I, I can't do this with one hand. But anyway, you get the picture. We're just going to work the razor blade along here and bring this down to smooth. You can, you can see some areas here where, you know, it's, it's high. I just want to bring all that down. Here's some right here. So I'm just going to bring that all down so it looks, looks like, like this. Now that I have 
my window channel all tidied up, cleaned up, and prepped. Uh, we can now come over here and, well, hopefully not break this, right? <laughs> kind of been my luck. This is a new glass. If you have an older glass, you definitely would want to check to make sure that your rear defroster is working. Um, even with a new glass, you should do it as well. I'm going to clean this first, so I'm going to just clean the whole backside uh get get just get it cleaned up make sure that this mating surface is nice and clean uh the new glass came with the uh the rubber seal on the bottom uh uh this this is the one that came off of the uh broken window and it can just be right here this is the surface right here. Let's see if I can... That would uh, would mate to it, and you could just glue that on there, just like just like they did in the new one here. So um, I don't need this one now since uh, mine came with one. I, I did not know it would, so I cleaned this up and got it ready. All right, let me. Uh, I'm just going to use a Windex and a, and a paper towel on this and just get it nice and clean. All right, so <clears throat> as you can see, it doesn't matter whether it's a, a new windshield, a used windshield. Uh, look how much dirt's on there. So, you know, that could, that could be the difference between your window sealing properly or not. So, or even adhering properly. So just make sure everything's clean. It doesn't take but a second. Okay, so I've got this set up. And we just want to make sure that we can go from one lead to the other lead and this then should beep if uh well why is it not beeping because i can't do this with one hand and i so i'm having to kind of hopefully that will hold there you go okay and then you saw the resistance measurement Electricity will be restricted through here a little bit, which will create some resistance, which creates heat. And then that's what melts the ice off your windshield and all that. So pretty simple, pretty basic, but um, you have to make sure that there is a connection from one side to the other or it won't work. All right, so there's, there's a, a look at the window in place uh, with a dry fit, no sealant. We just wanted to make sure we have everything lined up. Our gaps are where we want them. Everything looks really good. My gaps look good. Uh, and then we just use some tape. So when we come back in with it for the final fit, and these are all, these are cut now. So we, if we line up our tape marks, our window will be exactly where we want it. So we did it on both sides. And I don't know about you guys, but do those things make you as nervous as they do me? I hate carrying glass with them. It takes me like five tries to get them to stick in the first place. So that doesn't give me a lot of confidence. So, I don't know. Never had one drop, but still. All right, we're gonna pull this back out, get our sealant in, put it back in. All right, so here's what we're gonna be using. Uh, it's a 3M product window weld. I've not used this before, so this should be fun. Uh, but it just comes out of a regular caulk gun. And then this is where you'll puncture it. And uh, you need a pretty, pretty substantial bead on around this thing, so you'll want to open that hole up pretty big. Uh, and then once you've got that, I'll show you how to cut this. And then we'll, once we're done with that, we'll pop that, put it in the gun, and we'll put our bead on. So we need to cut this, and it needs to be cut in a specific way, from what I understand. Uh, I kind of, I've seen it both ways. I'm, I'm not 100% sold on the fact that you have to have the V cut um, I've seen it both ways so but we're gonna do the V cut just because it's harder why not <laughs> so what you want to do is have about a quarter inch opening I'm gonna guess because that's how I am and that looks probably about a quarter inch to me so I'm just gonna all right so there's my quarter inch opening 
But then what we want to do is we want to create this, this kind of V shape in it. Uh, this hurts the fingers. Okay, there's one. <laughs> Ow! There's two. And there you go. So, what I'm led to understand is that this shape, when it compresses down with the window, compresses flatter. A round bead, i.e. this, doesn't compress as flat. Nobody's shown me any scientific proof of this. So you do what you want. That's my theory. Um, I've never done it this way, so I'm going to give it a try. All right? All right. And you can see in here that I've opened that up as, as wide as I could get it to make sure that we have enough coming out to fill, fill my new shape. All right? Okay, and there you go. Just pop that off the back and now you're ready to go. So when we put this bead on, it's, 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 it's important that it's consistent and even. So you don't wanna have, uh, you don't wanna have it real thin or really thick, you know, back and forth as you go around because then you're not going to get an even bead all the way around that's going to squish and seal evenly so uh you know you don't want to leave any gaps either so if you have to stop while you're while you're putting it on make sure when you start it you're 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 getting it in there next to the bead you just stopped so uh so that it you know, push up into the old bead that you just left off, and then when you start again, then you can go again, but make sure it's all together. Um, that's gonna be really important for sealing. So I think we're gonna go ahead and just start at this corner and work our way around. And you can see how it's standing up like that. See how I went a little too fast and then I got a gap. So this is kind of me trying to figure out. How fast to go. So I just got to see just. And what you want to do is you want to be laying this right on top of this old bead over here. If you can see right here, lay it right on top of the old one. I'll just bring you around here real quick and let you look at it. But we got a pretty good consistent bead all the way around for the most part. So... We're, uh, we're going to go ahead and bring the, the uh, window over here and see if we can go ahead and get it set in. All right, here we go. <laughs> uh, here we go. Because once we get up here, it's going to be all over. Say thank you. So welcome. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, so we got the window in. Uh, it really went in pretty pretty good, actually. So let me let me show you. All right. So you can see we got a pretty good 
consistency all the way around. We've already set it down in there and you know pressed it down in. All our tape lines did really good and lined up. And then I just got a couple of more pieces of tape on either side holding it from sliding downhill. Uh, yeah, we had to try and get up underneath this this lid and you can see we we touched it a little bit. So I'll get a little bit of alcohol or something, clean that up real quick. But otherwise, yeah, everything looks everything looks really good. So Very nice. Very, very nice. All right. Okay, so this is uh, this will be dry, cured. I think it's about 24 hours, somewhere in there, roughly. Uh, I know if you go to a glass shop and haven't put it in, you're driving away in an hour. So there's probably full cure, and then there's probably you know curing time that you know you can drive with it. So. Uh, yeah, look at that. So we'll bring you back in now for the last final step, which is just clean it up, make sure everything's in good shape. We'll do a leak check on it, and we'll go from there. Uh, thanks to my wife, Joanna, because that was pretty cool. She came out and helped, and she did a great job. Um, you know, always does when I need help. So I did want to point out one thing, uh, how well the glass set in where this damage was that I had to fix. So um, that really, that really set in there pretty nice. So I, I, I definitely am happy about that. So one, one little check left, that would be the water check to make sure, but I'm pretty sure that we got a pretty good, pretty good seat through there. Um, if you guys remember, this was crushed down and I had to push it back up with a uh, ramjet or ramjack whatever you know uh, but yeah so it looks good all right so one of the things I wanted to show you here is I got the uh, trim piece back back in here but before I put that in you have to hook up that uh, the uh, rear defroster plug and there's one on both sides so I've already done that, but I just wanted to kind of bring this back up and remind you guys. So before you put your trim piece back in, make sure you get that uh, rear, rear window defrost plug hooked up on both sides. Uh, this one's all done. So this is set up pretty good now. It's not uh, fully cured, but it's, it's uh, set pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it down and clean it up. And there you go, there's the final product. I've got it cleaned, all set. Uh, it's not fully cured, but that's okay. We're not going to drive it until tomorrow anyways. So, uh, and this wraps up, uh, doing the uh, rear window as well. So, uh, this is installed and we're good to go. So just, uh, you know, you guys can see how that went. Hopefully that helps you guys. Okay. So we got it all finished. We got it all done. So let's go ahead and get a Leak chest. Let's bring on the rain. Just want to give it enough time to make sure, you know, if you have a somewhere where it seeps in and it takes a while to get in, you want to you just want to make sure you got it. Last thing you want to do is come out after a rainstorm and it's all wet. All right. That should be enough. All right, let's go check it out. Okay, let's see what we got. And everything looks good. I don't see any water coming in. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say we got a seal. All right, looks good guys. Not bad for a car that was pretty uh, pretty tore up here not too long ago. Uh, you can see still some of the damage that's left behind that I'm not going to fix just because I've got 354,000 miles on this and you can see, I don't know if you can see them or not, but there's dents, you know, in there. I, go, I still have the crease here. Uh, you can see the, you can see the dents there. 
the hood's got them. Uh, this thing got, got hit pretty good during uh, Helene. So, anyway. So, anyways, you see it? We got it. So, I appreciate you guys watching. Um, you know, if uh, hopefully it helps you guys and all those good things. So, uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one, all right?